If you are getting a GPU driver version error message when trying to launch the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, then you're on the right video, as I will be showing you how to fix that error now. The first thing that you're going to want to do, which it does kind of say in the message, is ensure that you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. Now if you don't know how to do that, then I will put some links in the description below to help you out. But the first thing that you're going to want to do is know what graphics card you have. And you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon and going to device manager and then simply expand and display adapters. Now the next thing that you're going to want to do is also download a program that I created called Easy Game Utility. And also within this program you can click on graphics and it will then also tell you your graphics card there. And you can click on driver download and it's simply going to take you to the website where you can download the latest driver for your graphics card. So that's updating your graphics card which should resolve the error message. But if updating your graphics card didn't resolve the issue then the next thing that you're going to want to do is use Easy Game Utility and click on the clean tab. You then need to scroll down and click on clear DirectX shader cache. So click on the clean button next to it and this is going to remove any DirectX cache files. The next thing that you need to do is click on clean next to your graphics card for clearing the cache files as well. So go ahead and click on clean. Now once you've done that, that's going to remove all the shader cache files for your graphics card. Once that's done, go ahead again and try launching Modern Warfare and see if that resolved the issue. If it didn't, then the next thing that we want to do is update our DirectX. So to update DirectX, first you need to click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Go ahead and click on download and then run the setup file. You now need to click on I don't accept and go, no I mean sorry, you need to click on I accept and then go next if you do agree to the terms and then deselect install Bing bar and go next again. That's if you, if you want to install the Bing bar then keep it ticked. Um, anyway, so once that's finished, if it does detect any new files, it will download and install them. But as you can see, I've got the latest files, which is fine. So I can now go ahead and click on finish. The next thing that you want to do is also update Windows, as DirectX 12 only gets updated through Windows updates. And you can do this by right clicking on the start menu icon, going to settings, update and security, and then clicking on the check for updates button. Now once you've updated Windows, go ahead again and try launching Modern Warfare 3 and that should have hopefully resolved the issue. So I hope you did enjoy this video, I will pop a link in the description below to a guide that I've done on resolving crashing issues and stuff with Modern Warfare 3 which will hopefully help you out if you carry on having problems. So click the subscribe button if you want to see more videos.